Hey guys, I'm here at CES 2015 with Shalom at the Autodesk booth, and I'm a baby to resin printing, so I was hoping maybe you could kind of give us the little rundown on resin printing for us. Glad to. So what I like to describe this is that we're printing with light and using photosensitive resin to transform a liquid build material into a solid. Because we're printing with light instead of melted plastic, we're able to achieve a much higher resolution than you can achieve otherwise. I definitely remember like all the trying to create models of myself. You can't really do hair with the normal 3D printing. You've probably seen the models over there with the hair. I mean, we're getting down to 100 micron strands that are actually tapering down to 25 microns. So. Oh, you guys are actually printing hair. Yes, we are. That's actually. impressive. You yeah. just like literally took the, the reference that I was saying and just applied it. I like yeah. that. We're doing it literally. So, cool. so yeah. what's special about this guy right here? The jewelers really love this machine because they're able to print in a smaller build volume. I mean, this is basically the size of the build volume. Um, they can print with extremely fine detail. And then that's something that you would want to be able to translate into gold or silver. So this is an example. Ooh. Just think of all these applications of 3D printing that, like, just even a decade ago, we just had no concept. Totally not. And, also and excuse the, me while I... The design tools. Yeah, I've got this in my pocket because <laughs> it's real silver. Um, we didn't polish this or anything. This is just how it, how it came out. Yeah. So this was Ooh, shiny. a 3D printed model right there. I actually oh, wow. designed this. And so we printed this, this 3D printed master and then applied the investment casting technique to this. So put some investment slurry and then baked it and then burned it out to create a cavity and then filled the cavity with uh, molten silver. And so that's how we created this object. The, Is this the, a ring? Is this an art piece? Is it's this actually, a uh, scrunchy? It's actually no. the Spark logo. So you can see like right there. So I this see what is you like did a there. simplified version of the Spark logo. So that's that's yeah. genius. Yeah. This is not the simplified ver it's simplified the version. simplified version. Yes. <laughs> yeah. we, we like making up words here. We're at a tech show. Come on now. That's right. So the cool. More syllables the better. And so how long would this guy take? That took a little more than three hours to print at 25 micron layers. So if we printed at 100 micron layers, it would print in less than an hour. So um, it really depends on what your layer thickness is. So we wanted to print this at a fine resolution. You can go all the way down to 10 micron layers for that. Okay. So, What would you say makes the ember the most special, like kind of sets it apart? Well, you know, you can see we can print with incredibly fine resolution. But what's, um, what I think is really essential and, and, and what separates us is we have an intense focus on user experience. So really, the user experience for 3D printing is really fragmented using a lot of different software applications yeah. and kind of having to export from this software and import to there and then... You have to know modeling and... and yeah. Well, especially even for the workflow, even when you have a model and you're just trying to take your model, that you, your CAD that you have and get a successful final print, there's just a lot of different steps in the process and it's very fragmented. So what we're doing with Spark is we're creating a very uh, streamlined user experience that's focused on making this approachable for people who are just new to 3D printing and also very powerful for pros who, who know how to do it but just want to do it as simply get the job done as easily as possible. Right, so you need bigger pockets. You need bigger that like oh, right. that jacket that's like, what are you buying? What are you selling? Yeah, exactly. All right, what do we got? So um, I carry a loop around with me because I feel like this is what really distinguishes 3D printing quality when you're actually analyzing the model. So I was just talking about the user experience. So that's one thing. So you want to really have a successful experience. You don't want to get frustrated and start pulling your hair out, right? Yeah, right. Uh, although you could 3D print some more. <laughs> but, <laughs> exactly. um, but when you have a world. loop and you're, you get in there and you actually look at the layers you know, at 10 and 20 times magnification, that's what, that's what really tells you, like, yeah, you've got a really quality product here. The so. intricacies. Yeah. So it seems like the possibility of 3D printing oh, right, right. is endless. Right, yeah. There's really new design um, tools that are coming out that are, that are requiring new fabrication um, techniques, right? So you, can't, you just can't make this kind of a thing with standard manufacturing techniques. Right. So that's, that's where 3D printing allows you Putting to Putting the power to the users again and no, not having big manufacturing plants and kind of getting down to the basics with tech. It's kind of an interesting spin, right? Yeah, that, that's true. And you could, even if you had those big plants, you wouldn't be able to create this, this kind of a lattice with this kind of a complexity in, with the traditional manufacturing. You really need 3D printing for that. So the software like that Autodesk is creating is enabling designers to create this really complex stuff that would be unmanufacturable right. 
without 3D printing. So, and it's open, right? Exactly. So it's it's open hardware, open software, and open materials. So that refers to the resin there. So. Yeah. And just an open platform to make all the art and be the best artist you can be. Yep, absolutely. Yes, done. Let's go cool. do it. I can draw stick figures. Thanks, Nicole. Welcome to Pandora Minion.